Is the American dream turning into a nightmare? Hello, this is Chart GPT Today. Ask that question. Often people ask that question. Is, is the American dream still alive or is it turning into a nightmare? Of course, if you look at what the, the dream of what people want over the centuries has probably changed. In the 16th century, people were focused on just simple freedom and pursuit of happiness, regardless of their status in life. 19th century, we kind of got into a little bit more equal quality of uh, opportunity to achieve success through effort, maybe a better life. Of course, in the 20th and now the 21st century, things have turned into more equality, social ability, education, health care, material prosperity, and yet a better life. So people's demands of what American dream or any dream as far as that go has been rising steadily over the centuries. So just keep that in mind. We're, we're people that want more things. First of all, I was going to take a look at a Wall Street Journal polling. And here's, first of all, before we go into some of these statistics, here's kind of the polling demographics, with it, which I think is useful. It's a smattering of uh, liberal, conservative. It also has a variety of different, uh, probably represents mainstream America, I suppose. Uh, and here's um, the last box here is religious uh, affiliation. So it's a mix. Uh, it kind of mirrors what the average person in the U.S. is. So just keep that in mind when we go through these statistics. Anyway, so the thing is here, are you better off or worse off than 50 years ago? Many people say 50% of us now say we're worse off than we were 50 years ago. Really? I'm not sure about that, but that's what people believe. Then we get into, uh, you know, now the big thing now is uh, social justice and racial equality. Um, basically, uh, if you're if you're basically white, you think there's only a 15% problem. If you're black, it's 46. So it's very polarized if you're in the minority class. And, and if you're not, then you think things are okay. In terms of politics, uh, most people see, we believe the economic or political systems are, are stacked against, against me. 50% believe yes. Um, but some people, 40% say no, so it's a mix back there. But the majority of people feel that's stacked against them, which is interesting. Getting to specifics about economy, 65% people, people say that not so good or poor. So that's uh, quite interesting. And of course, the excellent is only 35%. So the majority of us are feeling bad. And it's a, it's a generational thing. And it's been, and here's kind of the trend. We can see here that the upper classes are doing better and better through 1967 to 2016, and the middle class has gone down. Here's another chart that kind of shows that, that the, basically what it was showing you is the percent of people earning more than their previous parents, and you can see each generation is getting worse and worse. And I don't have Generation Z here, but I imagine it's even worse than that. So you can see the direction of the trend. So kind of a summary chart here. So is the American dream something to be that can be obtained? Uh, only 40, 45% says once was true, but not anymore. 36% say it's true. So people are quite pessimistic about the American dream going forward here, at least in this poll, which is a fairly one, one of the more recent polls. Uh, we ask AI what constitutes the so-called American dream, and you can translate that to wherever you live. You, know, you may have some similar, maybe obviously changes from country to country to a certain degree, but there's a lot of similarities there. And we ask you to take our online poll and ask, you whether or not you think the American dream is is alive and well or is it something that is no longer attainable so go ahead to the post link in the description box and check it out and check out the AI what it says now don't forget to subscribe